All right, well, Grandmaster Del Castillo here with another edition of Meditations on Mastery. And today I want to talk to you about the lesson of the week we've been working on, which is technique, principle, and attitude. And then with a special emphasis and focus on attitude and, and what that can mean to us in every trial and tribulation of our life. So when I uh, wrote the lesson of the week this week that we're working on in the dojo, we used a Krav Maga self-defense technique as the example. And the technique was a side headlock defense. And it's a great technique that uh, nine times out of 10 uh, works exactly as is. It's, it's a great plan on how to overcome the threats uh, that come with the, with the uh, side headlock. And of course it, it utilizes the principles of Krav Maga to, to do so. Um, but it is also true that the, the technique will not always work because there are some situations in which the attacker changes the attack. And so, whereas, for example, the technique is to step forward as not to fall, to, to give the simultaneous counterattack to the groin while the fingers go simultaneously into the eyes, uh, pull the elbow to the hip, counterattack and disengage. The attacker can, do, can hide his eyes. He can turn his head. He can do things that cause the initial plan not to work. And it's then that the crowd practitioner must understand the principle, which in, in this case is leverage to the neck. And then there is even still sometimes a possibility where uh, there's even more that goes wrong. And uh, the practitioner finds himself having a hard time making the technique or the principle work. And what we teach in Krav Maga is that it's then that attitude is everything. And the attitude is one of aggressiveness. The attitude is one of perseverance and tenacity. The attitude is one of never, never quitting. And I think that this analogy, like so many of the physical um, lessons of Krav Maga, I think that the analogy is so relevant to everything in our lives. So, you know, as, as, a, as a real great example, um, we all have a plan right? And we have a plan. Hopefully, hopefully the people listening to this podcast regularly plan, make your month plans and your week plans and your day plans, uh, because it's with a plan that we have the, the, the greatest chance of success, of course. But then sometimes, just like that attacker changing the scenario, something comes to mess with that plan. You know, um, with our, our current situation, obviously, the, the coronavirus, can be that thing in more ways than one. It could be uh, the, 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 you know, the economic implications to a business, or it could be the actual physical uh, implications to an individual. It can be some combination thereof. You can have a plan where, uh, you know, you know who's doing what, and then some of the key players um, are, are, are diagnosed positive. So at that time, it's so important that principle comes into play. And here's some of the relevant principles. Some of the relevant principles is, is number one, uh, that we are, you know, in this example, KMMA black belts, KMMA black belt leaders. And I am, uh, I'm, I'm projecting that onto everybody listening to this. So therefore, we have the never quit attitude that a black belt has. That we know that, that, that we may not always know the, the, the new plan right away, but we know that Quitting is never an option. And then all these other Black Belt leadership principles that we teach in the dojo become so relevant in a situation like this, right? Like, uh, because one is everything happens for a reason and it serves us well. Uh, life is 10% what happens to us and 90% how we react to it. You know, um, and here's, here's the one that I'm thinking about the most right now, which is that we should never let the things that we cannot do limit us from doing the things that we can do. It's, 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 a, it's maybe a manifestation of a circle of concern and circle of control, one of our favorite black belt leadership lessons. Like, hey, there are elements of this. So for example, if we, uh, you know, I, myself and, and, uh, and, and a couple of the key players have, have been out of the net because of a positive diagnosis. And so that means that we can't be around the dojo. We can't be uh, working there. And by the way, uh, to be clear, um, we reacted uh, immediately and, and efficiently and effectively to that. Uh, as soon as uh, anybody had symptoms, they were, they were out of there. And, uh, you know, long before, 
they, they were out uh, removed and then they were tested and, and never came back. Um, and then fortunately we do have a couple of great team members um, that are, have remained strong and healthy and are holding down that part. But those uh, couple key members and I that are out, we're working together uh, every day and to make sure that we are still making positive contribution to the business. And you see, the because the because all those principles apply, and we can't control what we can't control. So in this case, that's that's of course going around other people, but especially in a situation like today, where where we have all these technologies available and all the awesome stuff, there's so many positive things that we can still do. The important part about this message, by the way, like any of my messages and everything that we teach, is that I'm not speaking just to a specific situation. I'm speaking to a universal truth and principle. This is true for all of us in any trial and tribulation that we ever face. Like I said, hopefully we're going in already knowing the technique, the self-defense technique or the plan on what we're going to do to move uh, in the direction of our, of our goals, of our clear and dominant aims and goals that week. But then when, 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 when a, a contingency happens, when a trial and tribulations or a test comes our way, we have to apply the principles. And here's another one. All you can do is all you can do, but all you can do is enough. Here's another one. Uh, teamwork makes the dream work, right? There's all kinds of principles that come into play. And the key is to apply the relevant principles to whatever is the specific challenge that uh, you are facing at that time. And then the last thing and the most important all is attitude. Because, you know, the technique and the principle uh, are, the, are the predecessors they're, and, and their truths and they're relevant. But ultimately, rather it is a violent self-defense situation or rather it is overcoming any other contingency, test, trial, or tribulation in our lives. It's our attitude that makes the most difference of all. And, and here's some of the, 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 the things about attitude that are most important. Number one, of course, is the one I've already addressed, which is that we don't quit. Quitting is not an option. In every single situation, the attitude must be, I will until. If it's to be, it's up to me. I will do whatever it takes to win. I will do whatever it takes to survive and thrive, whatever the challenge of the situation is. But another attitude is, an, is the attitude of gratitude, positivity, and expectation. Uh, today, I actually had somebody ask me, uh, you know, what symptoms are you? Right? And, and I said, look, I, I don't claim any of that. I don't know what symptoms, but I don't want to talk about it because I'm not claiming that. I got other things that I'm focusing on. And I know it sounds almost silly and superstitious to some, but but to me, I believe we get more of what we focus on. And to me, that is a principle and a truth, not a superstition and not just a belief. Uh, so I claim where I go and I choose to focus on all the things I have to be grateful for in any situation. And as a result, I, I, I you know, I, I'm feeling okay. And the, you know, the, the other attitude, you know, other attitudes are, um, you know, again, the principles and the attitude may be overlapping a little bit here, right? Because the other one that I think is so relevant is that, uh, and I guess it also ties to the focus, right? Like instead of focusing on the things that I cannot do and, and, and perhaps uh, even allowing uh, oneself to be um, sad or emotionally downtrodden over that, by focusing on the things that we can do, by focusing on the things that we can control in any given situation, we actually improve the situation and improve the results and improve our attitude. It's, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy either way. You know, it's so funny. I, I don't know who I'm talking to here because I think this is not even about this current situation. It's about somebody going through something else. I don't know, but, uh, and, and maybe, well, not maybe, I know that we all go through different things at different times. And what I am speaking to you is such a pow powerful truth. I hope that uh, it will resonate with you. I hope you will, will tell me if so. Because whatever physical, mental, financial, social, professional, spiritual, I don't, whatever it is that you are going through, there's some things that I know. And, and I, I've spoken about them today, but I want to make them resolute and clear again. One, look to the principles. Instead of being, uh, instead of be, being, 
focused or, or distracted by the fact that the original plan did not work. Look to the principles at play, see what you can learn, and look to the positive that will come out of this given situation. There is almost always something there. And then number two, remember that it's all about the attitude. We get more of what we focus on. So when we're positive and grateful and focusing on the things that we can control and the things that we can do to improve our situation, instead of focusing on whatever's not going our way, we will get more to be grateful for. I'm speaking so passionately, maybe perhaps because I know not everybody believes this. And I'm telling you that when I finally got this down in me, it was life changing for me. You know, we all have our past and we all have our present and we all have trials and tribulations and tests. As the late great Jim Rohn said, the things that happened to us happened to all of us. Nobody is immune from hard times, tests, trials, and tribulations. But the thing that we can always control in any circumstances is our reaction to those circumstances, to those trials. Will we pass the test? Yes, say yes. Join the this superhero team here that I've been uh, sharing on the, as the screen on this uh, podcast. If you happen to be watching, if you're listening, that's okay too, because this is a, a podcast indeed. Hope it's been helpful to you. And 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 if not now, uh, if you're not going through anything right now, then be grateful for that. And 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 put this in your toolbox. Put this lesson in your toolbox. Because again, we all have peaks and we all have valleys. And it's what we do in both that defines who we are. But especially what we do in, 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 in the valleys, especially how we react uh, when things don't go our way. All right. Well, thanks for making the time to listen to me today. Uh, you know, feel free to comment, uh, to, to come and talk to me on, on, on my Facebook uh, page, my personal page, uh, particularly, or, or, or my meditations on mastery page. Um, or you can even email me directly at Sheehan Steve, S-H-I-H-A-N Steve at TampaCrowdMaga.com. Uh, and in some short time, I'm going to be back there in the dojo with you too, but, uh, but I will not do that sooner than I should. And, uh, Man, I am so grateful uh, and fired up to have great students and great followers like you. And I pray the best for you. And I uh, pray that this uh, message and all that we do, uh, that Team KMMA does at Krav Maga Martial Arts is a blessing to you. <clears throat> Prepare to live, empowered to lead. See you next time.